So my second graders took an animal research project to the next level incorporating digital and traditional literacy. Each student in the class chose an animal that they knew that they would see on our zoo field trip and they researched that animal, everything about it to become an expert. So then they used those facts to write an informational writing piece that we incorporated into a published book through Student Treasures. The students then also went on a field trip to the Buffalo Zoo as a second grade class and each of them had a chance to use the district's 360 cameras to film that animal's habitat. So once the students then returned to school, that information was put into Google Expeditions and we made a virtual reality field trip to be able to visit the zoo with. Which, do you know which one you're gonna do? Okay, so you're gonna right click. Oh, wait, no, that's your oh, wait, I wanna do my screen. This click. Oh, wait, right click. And then you're going to click. A goal of technology has always been to support the curriculum that we offer in today's students. Technology in the 21st century has become a huge part of our students' lives. We want to make sure that they have a, a positive experience with technology. It is not just an additional item that we teach our students, it's something that we incorporate into all the curriculum that we have. When you go on a virtual reality field trip, you put on the VR goggles and you are able then to see all around every angle of the habitats and the pictures that we took. Um, just through moving your head in each direction, you're then able to feel like you are at the zoo. Our first stop at the zoo is the North American River Otter. So if you look around, you can see all of the photography that Ellie took. I call him They certainly had fun, <laughs> so that was very important to make learning fun and meaningful at the same time. Um, I think they also walked away with understanding that digital literacy is so important and not just to be using technology for fun, period, but to use it in a meaningful way. And before we would have just written a paper, where now we could make it a hands-on visual learning experience as well. You know, the, the idea of a field trip, you'd say, okay, how am I ever going to see the inside of the rainforest, you know, without experiencing it? Now, we're going to take it one step further into what the VR goggles can do is instead of us um, viewing someplace far in the world, is we can create our own field trips. Um, you know, so what Casey really was doing was something that we have right here in our own backyard and bringing it right into the classroom. When they create these um, Google expeditions, um, with the 360 camera, so it definitely takes the learning um, to more of a personal level. I think learning is different than it has ever been um, before, even since when I was in school. You know, children are constantly working on independent work at their level. So what's great about technology is that we're able to really differentiate and meet students where they are, be it interest-wise or ability-wise. So students are functioning and working at all different levels and collaborating with each other without even realizing that some have strengths where others have weaknesses.